happy vlogmas everybody uh this one is pre-recorded i have a cold and i don't really want to spend too much time recording but i want to cut these out and everything um sooner rather than later so i'm filming today a peanuts planner co black friday haul um, by the time this has gone out, of course, Black Friday is completely over, but there was a 50% off sale and I had been saving up uh, a list of Penis Planner Co. inserts that I wanted to get for my planner, uh, for my setup for the new year, um, kind of December into the new year. Um, and so this is everything I got that I've printed out and I just kind of wanted to go over and see everything to show you everything that I got. So let me just make sure that I have here the list of inserts so I can tell you what the numbers are so first up this one here uh, I printed out two copies front and back is the categorized list um, this one is number 117 um, it comes with two different versions one just has three columns and this one has five my plan is to use this for my um, next actions lists uh, I have shown these sort of currently I'm using like these boxes and then I switched to just sort of a general just a, a basic to-do list but I've been color coding it a little bit sort of categorized uh, different situations in which I can work on something right so um, I have it split up for like home uh, errands it needs to be in front of a computer and then I have one for like things I can do in my planner and things I can do on my phone so that if I am in a situation where I have a little bit of time to kill I can flip to my next action list and look okay here's the things that I can do that are just in my planner um, that I don't have to like be anywhere special so I can spend less time deciding what to do and more time doing something um, instead of just color coding it I'm gonna try doing it with um, each of those categories in a uh, yeah one of these columns because I think I do have five categories if I remember correctly so I can just have the list this way and not have to worry about running out of space under a certain little box or whatever. So that's 117. Next up, this is, uh, I'm, yeah, I should have downloaded this a long time ago. This is the weekly habit tracker. This one is, uh, number 073. And basically, uh, if you're familiar with my planning at all, I really enjoy doing Alistair weekly to-do lists, uh, Alistair method. I'm going to do a video about the Alistair method, maybe this month, um, to go into a little bit more detail. But basically, if I have a list of things I want to do in a particular week, I can just put the things here and then I can kind of plan out what day I want to do them on. It helps me to two things it helps me to plan out when I want to do them and sort of split it up that way I can kind of see at a glance all right I'm going to do roughly a fifth of it this day I'm going to get a lot of stuff done on Tuesday so you know that kind of thing um and then also I get credit for doing it on the day I did it um if I have a really productive day I definitely like I enjoy being able to check something off specific to that day that's why I like dailies um but if I have an Alistair week then I can get credit for the day I do it on without having to rewrite the tasks every single day. So I printed out two copies of that. That's O73. Uh, this one is a monthly habit tracker. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be using this right away. Um, that's my daughter. She's having fun on the floor. Um, I might not use this right away, but basically it's just a habit tracker. You put your habit here and then track all the way this way. Um, there. She also makes one that's like a fold-out, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like fold-outs or not, and this seems simple enough. So I'm just going to have this in my arsenal for if I decide that I have enough habits to track. You can also kind of use it like a graph, which is something I'm considering. So I will show you that if whenever I set that up. So I just, oh, I was only going to print one, but I accidentally printed two. Um, and then on the back of those, I just printed grid paper so that I don't have to, you know, use multiple months in a row you know uh i did something similar here so this is the monthly uh it goes like this this one oh sorry did i say the monthly habit tracker is number 103 this monthly you may recognize if you're familiar with these um with peanuts planner co inserts this one is number 103 wait i'm sorry this one is this one's 103 this one is 
101. All right. 103 is this way. It's called the monthly overview fold out with tracker month on two pages. So this uh, is going to be for two things. This is going to be my monthly and also my content calendar. So in two different places. So one of them I'm going to use as like, I'm going to plan all of my um, vlogmas videos along here. Do keep track here. Like, did I do my video that day? Did I post like on Instagram or whatever um, along here? There's a to do list. And then this is just a little, you know, quick month. You can color code dots and stuff. It's very similar to the monthly I currently use. Um, but that one doesn't have the fold outs. I'm not, like I said, I don't use fold outs. I've never used fold outs before, but I am looking forward to trying it out. Um, and so, yeah, so once the content calendar, once just my general, I'm going to try this for my December monthly, um, which I think I will try to film a setup of a uh, plan with me, uh, as I do that. So since I am only doing this for December, like I'm going to probably do it again in January, but I, I don't want to have months back to back. So on the back of these, I just printed some really simple, um, digital scrapbook paper that I, I literally just Googled digital scrapbook paper. And this was on the first page that popped up. Um, I will try to remember to link it below. If I find it again, but, um, I just needed something simple to go on the back so that it's not just a blank, blank piece of white paper. So there you go. That is the monthly month on two pages. Number one Oh three. This thing I've been looking forward to playing with currently my recurring tasks, uh, page is a little bit more complicated than this, but this one you do it sideways. You put a task and then every month that it needs to get done. Um, ideally this is for something that you need to do once a month, but I'm going to try to tweak it a little bit and, and play around with it and basically move my current, uh, recurring task list. I, go ahead and show that to you. Um, she's happy. I know it's hard to tell. This is what it currently looks like. It's a little bit ugly. Um, and also as it currently stands, I have to erase the thing, the date every time I do it. And so it starts to build up a little bit of like collective friction ink over time and looks kind of messy. So I'm going to move this over here and see how that works for me. So this recurring task list is pay, uh, number 116 on the website. And then these last ones, I believe are all, yeah, these are all from the 2019, uh, the 2019 bundle and sorry, I'm looking up something that I'm going to need later. Uh, so I'm using these for different things. This one, I'm using the Sunday start. This is going to be my future log. I'm going to try not set printing out all of my monthly pages. I'll just have a future log and then I'll set up my monthly every month. Give you guys something to see. Um, and so this looks like a really nice future log. Um, you've got, you know, tasks here with, you know, a column for dates, a little quick month at a glance, some room for notes and things. Um, so this is also a fold out. It'll kind of accordion like that. So it's got January through June on this side and then July through December on the other. Then uh, this is the, um, it just like miniature little months. This one's also again, a fold out. I'm going to use this one to track, uh, the childcare schedule. We have different people in the family doing babysitting on different days of the week. And so I'm just going to color code these with little dots just to keep track of who's taking care of the baby. Um, and there we go. And then this last one here is a year to glance. I only printed it out on one side because I only really need one of these. And I use this to keep track of the My Hogwarts uh, school year. It's a 10 week year. And so I just kind of highlight it in alternating colors so that if I need to know when, you know, exam week is, I can just quickly take a look. And so I just needed one copy of that. And then find, uh, so that monthly, or I'm sorry, the 2019 bundle is number 147. And then finally, these ones I actually ordered before Black Friday. 
I actually ordered these a, like a week or so, bef a couple weeks before, because I wanted to start using them right away. These are a really great weekly. It's number um, 081. And I've been using these. You know what? I can show you. I've been using these as my weeklies. Here is the week of Black Friday. So there you go. My Thanksgiving week slash birthday week. I turned 30 on this date. Uh, hence the balloons. So I've been using this here to track the baby's naps. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any sort of pattern forming so far. All I've got is if she, you know, wakes up later, she naps later. But basically I'm looking at like, she's awake for roughly two hours between each nap. She naps between half an hour and like two hours, depending, you know, what didn't help us. She's sick today and she slept the entire day, the poor little sweet thing. Anyway, that's why I really like these weeklies. Um, did I just say this is number 081? Um, and the other thing that, like I said, I've been doing um, a basic just running list that's color coded for my um, next action list, next action items. And because I'm getting into the habit of referencing that, I'm putting fewer things on my weekly to-do list and getting more of them done, which so far, is so good. I'm happy with that. So that is what's going to happen with these weeklies. I'm going to try a thing, which I will get into the setup in, in more videos as we get through Vlogmas here, but I'm, I'm trying a thing where I have weeklies in one section and only dailies if I need them. Um, and that's what I'm using these for. So I've got these actually printed back to back. So they're just a section of just weeklies. And I printed out two pages of that. So that's what we've got. I've been looking forward to all of these inserts for a couple weeks. I think I, I picked most of these out in like October. So I was really looking forward to the sale. I was able to get uh, everything here for six something, like under $7. Um, and it was also double points. So I still got like the full credit, 14 points. So. I will definitely be using those discounts that you earn towards some more purchases when I decide I need more things because you always, uh, every time you visit the website, you're like, ooh, I have an idea for that insert. They're great stuff um, if you are not familiar. If you're using rings, uh, Peanuts Planner Co. is where it's at because each of these inserts is only like two bucks um, except for the yearly bundle. Those are the last three inserts um, was like 350. They're really affordable, really utilitarian and gorgeous and simple and just, they're really, really quality. So, and I think you all know that if you're a ring planner, you probably are familiar with this already. So, you know, don't listen to me. Just go buy stuff. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.